So the Sony WH-1000XM4 have been out for a while and if you've got one, you're waiting on one or you're just a window shopper looking for new gadgets to fill the emptiness in your life, we've got some tips for you. Goedendag, we're DHRME. Destroying hash browns really means eating. Number one, quickly activate or deactivate speak to chat. This is by far the most mentioned feature in Sony's marketing material and what it does is when you're wearing headphones and you start talking, it assumes there is somebody you want to talk to, so it pauses your music and lets you hear the surroundings. It's a really handy feature, but it doesn't always work. Woo! So you can turn it off in the app, but another way to quickly do it is just have two fingers down on your right ear cup. Speak to chat, activated. And there you have it. You've either enabled speak or disabled to speak to chat. And you can sing along again. If life gives you wind, turn on wind noise cancelling. The regular noise cancelling settings are kind of useless because the wind really makes it hard to listen to anything. But unknown to many, deep down in the settings of the Headphones Connect app, you can move the slider to the left till it's almost zero. Boom! There's wind noise cancelling. This isn't really new to the XM4s, but it is really hidden in the menus since the old days. You can do this on the XM2 and the XM3s as well. For me, this simple tip made me appreciate these headphones a lot more. Since here in the Netherlands, most of us feats. Number 3. LDAC Now, one of the major reasons to buy the XM4s is their sound quality. They are widely regarded to be one of the best sounding closed back active noise cancelling headphones. And wirelessly, they support LDAC, the codec that supports the best sound quality. Unfortunately, if you're not paying attention to the details, you could be using LDAC while still not getting the best out of it. And LDAC also isn't just one thing. It swaps between three different bit rates of 330, 660 and 990 kbps, with 990 kbps giving you the absolute best sound quality. So to get the best out of LDAC, you need to use a device running Android 8 or higher. Sorry, but iPhones, iPads only go up to AAC. You have to keep the device close to you so the connection doesn't drop to a lower transmission speed. And a lower speed usually means worse sound. This can even happen if you stick your phone in your back pocket. And if you don't want that to happen, you can force the highest bitrate in developer options so you don't get the worst LDAC like Google Pixel devices do straight out of the box. The assistant button. So this is something we realized very late in the game. The assistant button is much more useful on Apple. You know we love Siri. No. No we don't. So you can use Google Assistant or Alexa instead of Siri. This is how you do it. You need to go to your Headphones Connect app, swipe over to System, hit the Change function of Custom button, choose the assistant you want to use, and set up the headphones in the Assistant app on your phone. Boom! After a quick restart, you can summon your favorite monopolistic voice assistant at the push of a button. If you still need it though, Siri can be summoned with a long press on the right ear cup. And these tips also apply to Android users. Do note that if you reprogram the noise cancelling button to your voice assistant button, you will have to use the app to toggle between noise cancelling modes. The biggest upgrade on the XM4s is that they can be used with multiple devices. Well, with two devices, which is still a big upgrade. But this can turn out to be a little bit glitchy if you don't know how to exactly use it. It's a bit simpler on mobile devices because you can pause music on one device and play it on the other. But usually when there's a laptop or a desktop involved, it can get a bit messier. For example, if you're watching YouTube on a browser window on the desktop, you may need to not only pause that music, but actually close that browser tab or window before you can smoothly resume playing on your mobile device. This is not a tip for the XM4s per se, but for headphones in general. And maybe life in general? Don't rush into new stuff. If there's a new firmware released for your headphones, don't rush to get it. There have been instances in the past where headphones lose functionality, work worse, or straight up get bricked because of bad software updates. Bose and Sony have been guilty of this. So if your headphones work well now and you don't think you need any improvements, then don't update them yet. It's not a phone or a laptop that requires security updates. 
So let guinea pig users like us test them first. And stay subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on update videos. So the Sony WS-1000XM4 comes in two very normal colors, black and kind of white. However, we recommend that you don't get the white one simply because in the few weeks that we've been using it, it's already gotten a few dings and scratches and that ends up looking worse. I can only imagine how they look after a year. So the black would be a safer bet. But no, don't go mad blacking everything. The XM4 come with a built-in proximity sensor that pauses music automatically and also puts your headphones to sleep when not used. Fantastic feature, but make sure you don't block the sensor when you're not using the headphones. Sony's manual has a bunch of ways of how not to keep your headphones, but let's keep it simple. If you put your headphones down on a table like this or like this, you should be good. So David Blanco wrote a comment saying he has a hard time folding this and putting it in his case. I'm not sure why he has such a difficult time because all you have to do is, if you're wearing these headphones, you take them off, you fold them in like this and then you, it, it doesn't fit. Just give me a second, I'll figure this out. So you just take them off, you, all right, I've got it, okay. Once you take them off your head, you need to swap hands and fold the one in your right hand in and then they go directly into the case. It's very easy. I don't know why David had a difficult time doing that. These headphones are easily in the top bracket for their noise cancelling capabilities. But if for some reason you feel that noise cancelling isn't working well, make sure to use the noise cancelling optimizer. Make sure your custom button is set to ambient sound control in the app first. Then press and hold the button for about two seconds after you power them on until you hear the voice guidance say Optimizer, start. This is especially useful in case you've changed your hair, got new glasses or headgear, or if you're just borrowing these pair of headphones from someone else. And if you want to buy these headphones instead of borrowing them, check the links in the description down below supports the channel and doesn't cost you anything extra. If any of these tips helped you, consider supporting us on Patreon as well. Thanks to all of you guys, especially Adrian and Suryam, who left a lot of comments on the YouTube community page. Also, big shout out to David with his headphone folding question and Callum. Follow me on Twitter and Kevin on Instagram if you have any more questions for us. Or you can always visit the YouTube community page. You've reached this tipping point and we've been D-H-R-M-E. Namaste.